Here's a story that gets all the more fascinating the more you take a gander at it. A British man goes from bar to another, there's little inborn news esteem about that. In any case, when you consider the bars were more than 20,000 miles separated, with one on the solidified island of Tvalbar and the other one at Tierra del Fuego, Chile, the story turns out to be out and out interesting. What's more, Dash he did the whole trip in a 20-year-old TVR Chimera Sports Auto, not broadly known as the most solid auto on the planet. TVR manufactured Chimeras for around 10 years. It's a fiberglass two-seater convertible with a rover-determined V8, and they all were worked in Blackpool. Some portion of the motivation behind why the road trip machine must be a TVR, was the car maker's 70th commemoration, Trevor Wilkinson framed TVR in 1947. As announced by BBC and Piston Heads, Ben Coombs calls his Chimera Kermit, which is in reality a fitting name for a swoopily styled Green Games auto. The pub to pub undertaking took Coombs 7 months and 23,500 miles, driving through 24 nations. In July, Coombs began from Pyramiden, an initially Soviet constructed settlement at Svalbard, which is on the Arctic Sea. Pyramiden is likewise the northernmost place with a perpetual non military personnel populace, and just a single bar. Coombs at that point pulled his auto to northern Norway, driving south crosswise over Scandinavia going by the Koenigsegg Industrial Facility in Sweden, and in the wake of visiting through Europe he sent the auto to the states from Southampton. An across the nation drive got him to California, and from that point it was simply a question of driving the distance towards the southernmost openly accessible bar on the planet, in Puerto Williams. Incredibly, the main significant repair the auto required a mini excursion was another grasp in Nicaragua, in Costa Rica. The neighborhood experts requested the right-hand drive TVR should have been conveyed the nation over on a truck bed. This was just because of their antipathy for RHD, since the grasp issue in any case, no breakdowns occurred on the whole visit. The acclaimed Darien Gap from Panama to Colombia was taken care of by shipping the auto, from Colombia on, it was 8,000 miles of at times deceptive streets crosswise over South America. After Coombs could achieve the last bar in Tierra del Fuego on February 12, all in all an extremely basic foundation with just hail and whiskey on offer, the voyage was finished, and it was the ideal opportunity for the TVR to again board a pontoon and get delivered back home from Uruguay. Additionally designs incorporate turning the pub to pub road trip into an adventuring brand offering remarkable road trips around the globe. It's a decent update you can simply get in the driver's seat wrench a V8 to life and just not stop until the point when you achieve the apocalypse.